this Nikon D3400 video is about blurry photos. Because sometimes you want blur, and sometimes you don't. First, a note. Many of these options are only available when the camera is in P, S, A, or M modes. The autofocus on the Nikon D3400 is fast and accurate, but it may not know what you want in focus. So basics first, press I to check that we're in AFS, autofocus single, and wide. Those are the defaults. In live view, I'll get to the viewfinder in a minute, the red square indicates the focus point. It can be moved using the multi-controller, soft press the shutter, it turns green, and the camera beeps to confirm it's in focus. Then press the shutter to take the picture, or while holding the shutter softly pressed, recompose and then take the picture. The default spot is fairly large. Change to normal for a smaller spot. The other options here are face detection, which detects and automatically focuses on faces. And subject tracking, which works with AFF, servo autofocus. Press OK to select the subject, then the camera will follow it and focus it, although not particularly quickly enough for video. With the kit lens, you can focus as closely as 6 centimeters from the front of the lens. With these settings, both the subject and the background are in focus. For a blurred background, position the subject as far from the background and as close to the camera as possible. Zoom in and in A or aperture priority mode, use the rear dial to open the shutter. That's the smallest F number at the bottom of the screen. Even though the kit lens doesn't have a very wide aperture, with those three factors, wide aperture, zoomed in, and subject close to the camera, you'll have a nicely defocused background. In manual focus, the magnify button is used for an expanded view to make accurate focus simpler. On the kit lens, turn the small front ring. Although the kit lens does not, some lenses have a physical auto or manual focus switch. Make sure that's in the right position. Sometimes, even if the focus is confirmed, the subject is still blurred. That occurs when the shutter speed is slow. To force a faster shutter speed, switch to S and increase the speed until the subject is sharp. With auto ISO, the camera will increase the ISO to compensate. It doesn't take much to freeze the snowman, 125 does it, but for faster sports action, 500 or faster may be required. It's easier to demonstrate in live view, but you'll find the viewfinder both easier and faster for still shooting. And although the principles are the same, the viewfinder uses a different focus engine, which has neither face detection nor tracking, so selecting which you're using depends on the subject or the occasion. Four modes here, manual and single are the same as live view, AFC, continuous replaces AFF and AFA, which starts as AFS, then switches to continuous when movement is detected. Two areas, single point and auto area. In single, use the cursor to select one of the 11 focus spots. Auto selects what it feels is the most appropriate, usually the closest subject. For manual focus, use the setup menu to turn the range finder on. It appears bottom center to help determine the exact focus. One caveat, it won't appear if you're shooting in manual exposure mode. The exposure meter appears instead. However, you'll still have the focus confirm dot in the bottom left. One more thing. When the subject focus distance isn't changing, but I'm taking multiple shots, it's faster if the camera doesn't have to focus with each shutter press. In Setup, Buttons, assign AEL AFL to AF on and turn AF activation off. Then, when I press the AEL AFL button, the camera focuses, but not when I press the shutter. So focus and then snap away. Many photographers call this technique back focus. I usually switch this back when I'm done, otherwise the next day I'll be pressing the shutter and wondering why it's not focusing. 
I've made several videos to help you master the D3400. They're listed in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching. Please use the comments area below to ask questions. I do reply to all civil and relevant comments.